thoughts and beliefs, but like we're not on the same team. This isn't a team here. Yeah, I was trying to. I was just saying. I don't know how much you guys agree. I don't know how much of a sun man that we agree. I agree one hundred percent. What are you saying? It's just American history is a lie. That's the premise. American history a lot, and sun people were here before the explorers. Well, you, you say sun people, but uh, again, that's a modern term. Yeah, what? You know, what? So we there's don't a misnomer back to the olden days. Okay, when but I, yeah, but, say, but, but hold on, time, time, out, time, no, out, but, but, time out, time out, but but and 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 Christ. they call them Negro. What what they call the Negro and what no. what they call an African American is the same thing. We know what the fuck it is, even though they got different. That's what I'm saying like, because, like, we, have, like, because <laughs> we have classifications now. That's why we've been classified into these groups. That's why <laughs> there are three races. Who's Walter oh, Plecker? Yeah. Who's Walter Plecker? They came up with the concept. You can look him up. Salute to Doug Chunks. He says, if you hadn't had a Melungeon breakfast yesterday, how would you have felt? I didn't have a Melungeon breakfast yesterday. What's that? <laughs> Sounds good. You know that? I didn't have a Melungeon breakfast yesterday, Doug. What are you talking about, man? Um, Let's see. Uh, let me let me let me um, let me play this video for you. This guy's a, a scientist. Okay, this is a scientist, and I know you're gonna say that there's gonna be some excuses to why. Yeah. And, and listen, I haven't seen this video, but I've I've watched other videos of his. But since we're talking about this, I want to see this what he says about what you're talking about now. Where was the first place European explorers landed in the Americas? Was it Mexico, the United States, Brazil? Well, actually, it was Greenland over a thousand years ago. But when discussing the more recent European colonialism, the first ships to set sail from the old world led by Christopher Columbus landed in an unknown island in the Lucayan archipelago, what we refer to today as the modern-day Bahamas. Subsequent waves of Europeans had very volatile interactions with the natives of these islands, to say the least, but with the introduction of old world diseases into the native population, Ooh, their fate was set as soon as the first interactions so between these two wild. These people are dark skinned that they're black. No, they're see these terms. This is this is why I always say these because terms these that we label each other with nonsense. The nappy headed um 4C fucking goddamn fucking proto humans. These are 4C proto humans. 4C proto. That's what you saying. What you... They niggas. They Marquesas. Listen, Listen to people. Martel and the Shaniquas. These are Shaniquas and Marquesas. Melan people, melanated people. Yo, nobody denies there are melanated people here. Bro, what the? F yo, I. Exactly. Yo, That's can't, the point. I can't do Listen, this shit, bro. That's the point that I'm making. Nah, this, this shit crazy. Uh, you never heard me say black people. You never heard me say black people. No, you just gonna it's say it's a Negro bro. or some shit like that. Yo, what's the word, y'all? No, I don't because I don't believe in those terms. What are your thoughts on this, Crook County? What are your thoughts on this, man? Let, 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 let get the floor. Uh, I mean, I really don't really care about this type of shit because niggas are still terrible now. <laughs> and that's all that matters. We disparate populations took place. And it's you. Sorry, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean that's what matters. I mean, what that's we what are I right now. It too. Yeah, it's just basically like, yeah, the history and all this other stuff. That's cool, but like, we suck right now, and we're a burden right now, and we kind of gotta, you know, get out of the being the the toddler of society. And a lot of this stuff changes. Like they have a rock solid theory. And they work on it, and they work on it, and then a dude, a generation or two later, working in a university, comes up with something else, and just yeah, runs I mean, with gonna, it. Yeah, but you're gonna, you're always gonna have. It, it's like a case, like if, like think about a case. The first day when the detectives show up on the scene. Yeah, but it's kind of a never-ending thing, and it's eventually, it's like, what is the point? 
right. Like right. these guys devote their lives to the shit, and they, this is how they make their living. They have to write grants to get funding to explore. Like, oh, this one island was this the first island? Here's my theory as to why this was the very first island that any colonizer landed on. And then a dude working in fucking California has his theory, and he comes along 20 years later. And he's like, oh, no, dude, 20 years ago, that wasn't it. Here's the new theory. And it's just kind of like endless babble that doesn't really help anything. Right. But what about hard facts? Like the people that landed on the island, what they said. Like, what about those type things? Where well, I mean, like, but I'm like, saying, like, they, they argued, the historians argue over what the stuff meant and who said what to who. Like, they, they these guys don't have, you know, much record at all. They just kind of piece together, you know, here's a corner of, here's like three pages of a report from one part, and then there was a ship, you know, that crossed this area probably about the same time, maybe. And these two captains probably, you know, probably met somewhere in this general vicinity of islands. It's, it's just very wishy-washy. And eventually, the, you know, these pompous intellectual types get to go to universities and lecture and act like they know what they're talking about because nobody else has wasted their time investigating shit that don't really matter. Well, also, like, People might not know how to investigate that shit. Like, like if you were going to go to t- determine who was the first <laughs> Europeans to come to the new world, like, where would you start? Where would you go, man? Like, I mean, like, it's not that people don't really have time for it. They don't know how to f- do it. The native population, their fate was set as soon as the first interactions between these two wildly disparate populations took place. And it's claimed that by the year 1600, only 100 years after first contact, virtually the entire Taino ethnicity and other natives of the Caribbean had gone extinct through a combination of enslavement, warfare, and epidemics completely changed. So, like, you don't think that this, this what do you think about this? Like, that. That they, uh, I think this is just what they understand it to be as it currently exists so in our shit, history, you know, our to yeah. our time period. But but the king, you don't think the king, you think he just was, he, they didn't keep track of how many ships they sent out. He didn't know how many soldiers he was sending where. The general. No, I don't think they had a great idea of that. Also, no. to add on to that, in between when it happened then and now you can fuck with those records like yeah i mean you you can rehash stories however you want them to fit yeah so i'm just saying like we really don't have a great idea of what the fuck was going on and even even 150 years ago who cares Mm. changing the demographic landscape of this region forever What exactly is the Caribbean, though? Well, other than being used to describe the large open body of water connected to the Atlantic Ocean as a geographic descriptor, the Caribbean region, or West Indies, as it is colloquially known, is generally used to describe the various island chains that box in the Caribbean Sea from the Atlantic Ocean, divided into a number of archipelagos stretching from South America to North America, including the Lesser Antilles in the east, which includes Barbados, Trinidad, and others, the ABC Islands in the south, which includes Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, three constituent countries of the Netherlands, the Greater Antilles in the west, which includes Cuba, Hispaniola, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico, and finally, the Lucayan Archipelago in the north, which includes the Bahamas, Turks, and Caicos Islands. At European contact, there were around a million people living throughout the Caribbean, including over 700,000 on the island of Hispaniola, which on this one island would have been a population density about the same as Argentina today. See, like that. How, did, how the fuck did they know that? How the oh, fuck did they know that? They don't fucking know. They have no fucking idea. A dude, will come along, a dude will come along 50 years from now and be like, the population was three times what we thought it was. And then a dude... Ten years after that, I'll be like, no, it was actually 
a fraction of what we thought it was. It, it, like they don't fucking know. And these right, dudes so. are they, a lot of these guys that do this kind of work are also hyper left leaning liberals, and they will fucking make some shit fit to fit this some dude, narrative they have. This guy's go, he go he talks about allels and haplo groups, so he's not really talking about like left wing shit. And but I'm, I'm just, saying like if you if you get into the philosophy of these people that do this type of work. A lot of them intertwine their personal politics with their research. Yeah, right. it the, makes the them feel good about themselves. Do, white people did 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 conquer people. Like you got to also understand too. Like one thing that you that, that that gliders have on other people that kind of like makes them seem worse is that like the written language y'all kept memoirs, y'all kept historical anecdotes. All the killing and ravaging Africans did throughout the centuries, none of that was recorded. All the killing and ravaging these natives did and the Arab, very little of that was recorded. So you guys recorded everything. So we have all of the fucking shit that you did wrong. And the other groups, we don't have anything. We don't have anything out of Africa. Only I'm just saying a lot of this stuff is a lot of maybes. Yeah, but what I'm saying is to, to, to think you I think you're you you are kind of offended because like, oh what do we do now? Oh god, we did oh they're blaming us for another thing. Well, yeah, because it's recorded. There's not nobody else recorded anything. Well, I'm just saying a lot I don't think a lot of this is accurate. That they they get on here and they make these videos and they're like, This is definitively how the world was, you know. 700 years ago for sure don't question it i don't think that's true i'm not saying saying that this guy's right but what i'm saying is what i'm saying is that you guys don't trust any of it right i don't trust what they say happened before they got here but the fucking general's diary where he says on this day we sent 18 about eighteen hundred soldiers westward up over the Cape, and he then and then, you know our, our sergeant said that we, he lost two hundred in battle. And blah, blah, blah. I mean, like that's literally like people just saying what happened. Now, you want to tell me how many people were there when you got there? I, if you want to say you don't believe that, I'm fine with that. But sometimes some things just happened. Like it it. it it ain't everything. Everything's not a conspiracy. Right. So, but I'm just saying, like, we don't really have a great measure to say for sure what a lot of this actually was. Like, there's a lot of God of the gap scenarios where it's like, OK, well, this happened and then this happened. So somewhere in the middle, this is probably the norm or this is probably who was in charge or this is probably what took these people out. There's a there's a lot of fill in the gap stuff that people just blindly assume is fact because somebody who works at a college just says it. Salute to Alicia Shadow. She says, "What makes this channel great is being able to freely discuss different points of view and freely question narratives. Love these discussions. Shout out to you, Alicia, man. Make sure y'all continue to take the five dollar channel, support the channel. We're going into hour four, man." Canada. Somebody, somebody in the chat made a good. These early Caribbean natives were not a. Somebody in the chat made a good, uh, you know, modern day comparison. Like, like, what do you think COVID's going to be presented as, a hundred, two hundred years oh, from now? Shit. Oh yeah, they're going to make it seem like people were falling over in the streets and the fucking. Yeah, like the world shut down. Everyone was dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're going to. Of course, not, no, I get that. I, I. I they're doing that now in front of our eyes. And, like, yeah, and that's modern times. Like that's like we 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 record everything. We yeah, got everything on video. We got everything on a you know a disc drive somewhere. Like, and that shit, people are gonna believe all kinds of bullshit that wasn't true. But they're gonna get taught it by somebody who has a PhD a hundred years from now, and they're gonna be like, that's definitely what happened back then. When no, it wasn't. No, no, and, and, and I 100% agree with that. Like, in and, and, and 50 years, 
January 6th is going to be seen like it was the fucking, they, was, they, had, they had guns and tanks and they stormed the Capitol with guns and, with tanks and shit. I, 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 I definitely understand that. But this guy, he gets, in his videos, he gets into um, a little bit different shit. That's why I wanted to. Single unified ethno-linguistic group and arrived in their new island home at varying points in time. Although, interestingly, nearly all of them seem to have originated from South America rather than North America, despite the distance and close proximity to the mainland of both continents. But it's actually now known that virtually all Amerindian tribes in the Caribbean started on the northern coast of South America, what is now Venezuela, and proceeded to move north along the Lesser Antilles, hopping from island to island. And, and they know this because he, the, the haplo groups your DNA, once they decoded the genome, that opened up a lot of historical stuff that wasn't known prior. Various waves and settling down along the way. The most archaic and isolated group were people located on the farthest western tip of Cuba and the nearby island of Juventus that were dubbed by the Spanish as the Guanajatabe and were not related to any other known Caribbean natives or those from the mainland. As a hunter-gatherer society, the Guanajatabe yeah, yeah. were most likely descended from the first, or at least the oldest surviving migration wave from the mainland, most likely at least 3,100 BC. That's older than most of the pyramids of Egypt at over 5,000 years old, although Amerindians have inhabited South America for at least 10,000 years. The next wave of migrants to enter the Caribbean were... Mm. So, this is, this is, is that what, so is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. What I'm saying, like, Mainland. these terms Most that likely they use, black, mm -hmm. white, what I'm saying is these terms that we use, and somebody mentioned it in the comments also, these terms, this, this these terms of black, white, this and this and this and that, this is all new concepts. So when I say melanated people, I'm talking people of hue. I don't consider myself a black person. I know my culture. I know how I was raised. I, you know, I know the deal. I never labeled... Myself as a black person, never called anybody a black person, never called anybody a white person. Okay, but, He's but a stay, with, stay with me. Stay with me, though. Like, like, hold on. Let, let me... At least 3,100 BC. That's older than most of the pyramids of Egypt at over 5,000 years old, although Amerindians have inhabited South America for at least 10,000 years. The next wave of migrants to enter the Caribbean were the Taino, perhaps the most widely distributed and most numerous people group in the region and were distantly related to a larger ethnic macro group known as the Arawakan peoples from the mainland of South America, with the Tainos spreading out to the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, Jamaica, Hispaniola, and most of the remainder of Cuba, divided between a few main groupings which may or may not have been mutually intelligible. The other major group of the Caribbean was the Caribs, a smaller Arawakan ethnic group located in the Lesser Antilles. And before you ask, it was actually the Caribbean that was named after the Carib people, rather than the people being named after the region. The situation gets a bit more complicated for Trinidad and Tobago, which actually have multiple indigenous peoples, including the aforementioned island Caribs, as well as the Locono and Warao, while Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao were originally inhabited by Arawak and Kakito people, though due to their isolation from the rest of the And listen, these people are dark, okay? <laughs> They're dark and they have um, straight hair and they can trace their lineage through DNA back to South America. So these people came, a lot of these people in the Caribbean came from South American Indians, not North American Indians. And they tracing that not through record books, but through their DNA. Exactly so my point. Islands. Their culture was more similar to that on the mainland than in the greater Antilles. Areas that are also often associated with the Caribbean, such as Bermuda in the Atlantic Ocean and the Cayman Islands in between Mexico and Jamaica, actually had no indigenous population by the time the first Europeans arrived. But that doesn't mean their modern populations don't have any Amerindian blood, as migrants brought from other Caribbean islands may have had partial native ancestry. So this leads us to what exactly happened to the million or so natives of the Caribbean, which, as you could guess, is quite the tragic history, as being the first area of the Americas that the Spaniards came across, it was also the first to be conquered and integrated into the Spanish Empire, with diseases such as measles, smallpox, and the flu being the greatest weapons of the Spanish, 
and the greater technological advancement of the Spanish put down any large-scale rebellions by the Taino. After this, many of the remaining natives were enslaved or fled to the interiors of the larger islands, although there was considerable intermixing between them, as many Spaniards who arrived on Hispaniola or Cuba often took Taino wives, with their mestizo offspring often becoming conquistadors themselves and aiding in the conquest of the rest of the New World. However, by and large, the biggest demographic change to occur to the Caribbean islands would be the importation of slaves from Sub-Saharan Africa, who were quickly pumped in to replace the dwindling Taino population, and they would proceed to eventually become the majority in the French and British Caribbean territories, mm. while in the Spanish territories it was a bit different, as most of the time the Spanish or Mestizo men would intermix with these imported Africans, creating a new hybridized population. There are even some accounts of there you had slaves moving and integrating into Taino villages, although eventually the entirety of the populations of these islands would become Hispanicized, with the Taino and African languages being replaced by Spanish and racial identification on the island becoming rather fluid, with all inhabitants eventually becoming more or less connected in some way. Although anecdotes of surviving Taino exist well into the 1600s in the Greater Antilles, one of the only regions where the natives were able to actually survive the conquest, disease, and massacres were in these smaller islands, with England and France agreeing to make Dominica and St. Vincent into a Carob or Kalinago refuge, although eventually England would annex these islands as well. And with the importation of Africans to these islands, it would appear that the last of the native Caribbeans were about to be washed away forever. However, a group of escaped African slaves from St. Vincent would actually end up intermixing with some of the native Caribs, creating a hybrid Afro-Amerindian or Zambo people that were highly opposed to the British rule, and ended up being deported to Central America, where their descendants are known as the Garifuna Bingo. or Garanagua today, still speaking their own distinct Arawakan dialect rather than English or Spanish, being located mostly in Honduras and Belize. In Dominica, well, however, people, the Kalinago right? actually did survive. Those are certain people. They're, they're, they're mixed between these Africans. Right, that's my people. right. That's the point I'm making. Oh, that's he does not agree with you, Doug. That, <laughs> like, I, it's crazy how you think he's like, bro. This, I don't know. Bro. No, what I was saying, I'm saying exactly what he was saying. You, no, you, you misunderstood me. This is exactly what I'm saying. They ran into people that were here already. That's not what he said at all, bro. What? He, 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 he said I did say that. The Africans were imported. They said the imported, Africans. bro. Yeah. And the, and the DNA right, I never denied that. that. I never said they weren't here. They didn't bring Africans. I never said that. Yeah, but let me, tell you about DNA. let me tell you about DNA. DNA. They can, um, your haplo group and your alleles is deep, but they can tell where you came from by track by looking like by other groups in the world. Because if you, if like for instance, if if I have a baby with a white woman, right, and that baby comes out mixed, that baby has all the information from my history. And all the information from my wife's history. So somebody finds those bones that day, they'll say, Oh, that baby it came from Wales and Nigeria. Like, what the fuck? But like in these homogeneous groups, like these were the Indians were when they were here by themselves, and the Africans were when they were there by themselves, it's a lot easier to to um crack the code. And agreeing to make Dominica and St. Vincent into a Carob or Kalinago refuge although eventually England would annex these islands as well. And with the importation of Africans to these islands, it would appear that the last of the native Caribbeans were about to be washed away forever. However, a group of escaped African slaves from St. Vincent would actually end up intermixing with some of the native Caribs, creating a group of escaped African slaves from St. Vincent. They came and made their own fucking group, just a group of African slaves. Can't, so when you're talking about like we was already here, I can get why Africans say that because they're like, ah, oh, damn, there's so many fucking Africans everywhere. This one group of African slaves made their own fucking race just by fucking on some Indians. But do you know how many? In a high like what's your name was saying earlier? We don't know. Just like All we right. don't know how many people were here, but there were people here. 
Yeah, but what Nobody. we said, the group, the, the group is still around today. Be watching well, uh, forever. However, a group of escaped African Nick slaves from St. Vincent and, would actually and, end up intermixing yeah, with some of the Native Caribs, what I'm saying. creating a hybrid. Oh, because you're you know, not saying family. You keep saying stuff like there were people here and they were melanated. No, I don't think anybody is disagreeing with it. You're making a different. You're making a I never stronger said claim. Than that. I, Go ahead. What claim am I making? You're Explain saying to me, no. What's the claim that I'm making? I, I this is what I keep hearing from you. The the claim that you're making is that there were people. That look like sub-Saharan Africans that were here already. No, I never said that. Never said that. Never said that. So we don't disagree then. That's where the there were people here. here. There were people here. They look. They had melanin. My cool. My, my lineage. My culture is not sub-Saharan sun man. And you know but that. People huh? call me a sun man. But people call Wait. me a sunny. People call me a hey, man. Look. look at my look at my look at my uh picture there. I have on a national headdress and a national jacket from my culture. Hey, according to this source, the people the natives went extinct, right? Or damn near extinct. So we'll never really know if that's the case, if they're gone and they're extinct. But hold on, hold on, hold on. He didn't say the natives went extinct. Like it said, the the, the tribe certain tribe the Taínos went extinct. The Taín this is about the Taíno tribe. All of them didn't go extinct. They they they're here today. You talking yeah. about? Some of them are called Jamaican. I mean, some, the some of them are called Puerto Some of them. The video, you talking about certain tribes like this Taíno tribe got yeah, absorbed. I mean, we're talking you know, about when, a when small blacks island came here. over here. Blacks fucked them out into black like. You can you you know you can fuck a group into extinction, right? Like if, if you got a little Man. group on an island and you come there and you fuck all their women and, and their women um fuck all your men and over the course of hundred years everybody is mixed and that group is gone. Well, what I was taught Indian ninety percent of them died of disease, so. So it was easier to um to, to, to absorb them because it was less of them. That's true. That's true. Or Zambo people that were highly opposed to the British rule and ended up being deported to Central America, where their descendants are known as the Garifuna or Garanagua today, still speaking their own distinct Arawakan dialect rather than English or Spanish, being located mostly in Honduras and Belize. In Dominico, however, the Calinago actually did survive in the northeast corner of the island making them the last remnants of the pre-contact indigenous Caribs, although in recent years there's been substantial intermixing with their neighbors in Dominica, leaving only a few hundred full-blooded members remaining as most... So in this tribe, there's only a few hundred full-blooded members of them. Like, did that happen or was that a conspiracy? Like every, are you asking like me? Everything's a cocky conspiracy. Yeah, I don't. That's why I don't. don't that's why I don't do the, the conspiracy shit. <laughs> yeah, is I mean, that was that's, it's, it's pretty silly to to think everything is a conspiracy. Yes, but y'all damn dear, all think of them. Everything everything's a conspiracy. Everything. Nothing ever happened. Nobody. Everybody's nope. lying about everything. Hidden history here and black people were involved yes. in everything. Like the like they not nothing about happened. black people was wasn't involved in it and shit. I am not claiming anything about the Kalanago community have African European ancestry as well, but they're still quite the vibrant community, making up around three percent of the island it's and growing actually. Due to the history of intermixing with many of the Caribbean natives, their genetics and possibly even to a greater extent. Their culture and traditions still live on in almost every modern nation in the region, as most Afro-Caribbeans have a degree of European and smaller Amerindian admixture. And in the case of the Hispanic Caribbean, it's been found through genetic studies that the whiter any individual is in these nations, the more likely it is that Amerindian DNA makes up a greater part of their non-European ancestry. In total, Native American ancestry still continues to make up around 7% of the overall genome of the entire Caribbean, 
greatly depending, of course, on self-identified ethnicity as well as region, as it's been found that mixed race Puerto Ricans have around 20 to 25 percent Taino ancestry, while groups like the Haitians have almost none, existing only in trace amounts, suggesting a... Okay, and we know that these, like, he, he through DNA, they prove what we already knew, that Haitians is niggas. They not Indians. But we knew that, but DNA, all they did was confirm that. So it's like the DNA history proved it, what the historical history proved. They both, what, what, what happens when they both agree? I wanted to ask y'all that. When the DNA history, when they go back and check the DNA of everybody, see where they came from, it, and it matches the white man history books. What what, what do y'all got? What, what do y'all say when that happens? I say thank God. I, I honestly feel like I'll be. If you're asking me, I feel like I'm just being pigeonholed here because I don't. I don't. No, I'm it. asking like, you because I'm, I'm I mean, half. half said, one in, no, I'm asking you that is because y'all came in here with the premise that nothing ever happened, everything's a lie, and. Through DNA, they found that, yeah, everybody in the yeah. fucking community. Hold on, hold on. Let me, can I? Let me, oh, come on, man. They, they, they Nothing ever happened. Everybody, they, they found out everybody in the Caribbean. That. Hold on, hold, can, I, can I just say what I'm saying? They found that everybody in the Caribbean got Indian blood in them, right? They, what you would call Indian. Can we just agree that the Indians are the people that were already here? No, yes. the they're not. They're gonna say no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everybody in the Caribbean got they some West that. Indians. Ho ho hold on, hold on. Everybody in the Caribbean got some of that in them, right? Except for these motherfuckers. And I, they're gonna say, they didn't have it. Didn't that's them. why they on one side <laughs> out of that. And I, and I, they're gonna say the DNA test is fake, or <laughs> it doesn't. It's it's not uh, showing the whole See, genome. See these Indian. motherfuckers got Indian blood. These are these are half Indians, right? These are or, or, or quarter Indians or a third or tenth Indians. But these motherfuckers right here are similar. Are, are these motherfuckers? These is the Af This group right here, they stayed hundred percent African, even though they was in the Caribbean all that time. They managed to stay hundred percent African. And when you see them, when you see one of these motherfuckers, you can tell. Mark, you can see the African in them. <laughs> no, Mark, that they will have nothing else in them. Yeah, I never denied that. You can see, you can see it in them. They but still practice the that, culture is that, to this. Is that, is that you, 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 when you, when you say history, like you say, like you could have came, you like, like for instance, say, say oh, that that didn't happen, right? The white. Yeah, I don't think. Wrong. I'm sorry, I don't think you white just. I, I could have clarified that a little DNA, better. And DNA and DNA proved it. How did these people stay 100% African in the Caribbean where every other group is mixed? They were originally from Africa. No, but all, all the and other And that's people, why they're on that one side of the island. No, but all the other people is from Africa too. Parts of their... Mixed, parts the ones their, that mixed with the natives. Right, so they didn't mix with the natives. So that's really so that happened... That yes. really happened. Oh, yeah, they mixed yeah. things with sure. the I'm not sure. Sure. I'm sure. I'm probably you agree that something actually happened. Yeah, that shows you that <laughs> mixing occurred. Huh? I said that shows you that mixing Without occurred. You can't deny it. Yeah. So mixing occurred, and in some places it didn't occur. So things happened. Some things that we know happened actually happen of course okay i just want to get that because i okay. think i don't realize how y'all sound because i think because i think you got kind of a blind spot yo y'all don't think nothing happened and I mean, they, no they think we that never we said that. that so chill out <laughs> but let me use the holocaust I'm as Dude, an I'm example to you. I'm what do you believe about that. the holocaust I don't want to talk about the Holocaust right now, man. Fair I don't want to go from this to the fucking Holocaust, dude. I don't want to do that to your channel. Yeah, yeah. Suggesting a total population replacement. This may not say so they had a, that. So that he said it was a total population replacement. But this was an island where they brought slaves, all niggas. And the niggas revolted and they 
kicked the fucking French out, and they've been it's been a fucking dumpster fire ever since. It's been Africa. The niggas recreated Africa, but they ain't had no ad mixture. It's the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere because this is the one place where the total population was replaced. Yep. It wasn't no mixing. This is easy. This is Africa. Yep, they just this is literally just Africa transported. Exactly. Haiti That's is right. literally we can we can we agree with that one? Can I get a one in the chat? Haiti is Africa, is is a is a satellite Africa. The magic dirt the magic dirt then uh rub off on them. This they just imported them niggas and they created Africa. Africa exactly where they landed it. That's all yeah. I have. It's just Africa. But the other countries is mixed up. So they're not as poor. But they're not like white people. Hey, uh, Mr. Terrible. You know, ancestry. Chat, you're on point. While groups like the Haitians have almost none, existing only in trace amounts, suggesting a total population replacement, this may not sound like a whole lot, but out of the total population of the Caribbean being 45 million people today, this is equivalent to around 3.2 million full-blooded Caribbean Native Americans, with the highest geographic concentration being in Puerto Rico and the Dominican. So of 3, what, 3, 3 million of the 45 million people in the Caribbean are what you found when you first got there, what the white people found when they first got there. The rest is mixed up or fucking Haitians. Mixed up from the, although the modern mixed up from the imported Africans. Yeah, not the, the imported not the niggas Africans. that were already there. They got because imported the and then they mixed. If yeah, the Africans were already Mark. there, the DNA would have been in the their DNA would have been in the um in the in the haplo groups and i i, I don't want to get in all the haplo groups and the levels and shit like that you gotta do your own research on that um i'm gonna pull a um mystic philly do your own research haplo groups <laughs> allows uh populations and shit like that is is dna, yeah, DNA right. markers, DNA markers <laughs> and shit like that like they can tell where you, they can tell if it was some niggas over here already it would have nobody no. would be hiding it it ain't no concern no, no. No, they would have been hiding it. I, you know, it's, <laughs> they don't want us to know for some reason. I don't. They can't really. I don't even know why they wouldn't tell us niggas was here. I, I still don't understand that part. Here's my thing, though. Like the places where niggas are, though, niggas don't want to learn nothing about it. Niggas want when they talk about Africa, they want to learn about Egypt. I, you tell a nigga about yeah. Africa, I went to Egypt. They don't care about Yo, the they, start, they start talking about uh they were Hebrews and shit. They were the original Jews. Exactly. Well, some some in up, Chad just said they're the original Europeans. Yeah, they I was just about to say they start making up one. fake fake. They were uh the original King George and all this shit. It's like Yeah, Britain the Netflix got that. their back. But it's just an extension of ego. And they, you know, if it helps them get what they want, like, that is what it is. It's Yo, people. The problem is people don't want to tell some people, fuck, you know, shut the fuck up because some people are so violent. And really being violent is the only way you actually get what you want in any way. Yeah. And, and also some people have like, um, uh, 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 I would say the status too, like, you can't put. Pissing off a sun person it has consequences socially, not just violently, but your social status can be affected by pissing off a sun person or pissing off some people. 45 million people today, this is equivalent to around 3.2 million full-blooded Caribbean Native Americans, with the highest geographic concentration being in Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic, although the modern Caribbean island with the highest percentage of Amerindian admixture as a proportion of the national gene pool would be Aruba. Not terribly surprising, seeing how it is one of the closest islands to the mainland. Even in most Anglo-West Indian countries, Afro-Caribbeans still have varying amounts of Amerindian. Look at look at the admixture. Haiti's at the fucking bottom. They don't have no admixture. 
Um, damn. It's hard to I, read. Amazing. Hey, well, this is Haiti right here. This is Cuba. This is Puerto Rico. This, this um, super chat blocking part of the graph. Oh, okay. Salute to um, Hot Block, man. Hot Block in the building, man. Y- y'all free to take the $5 challenge, man. Um, we ain't gonna, I'm not going to be mad at you if you take the $5 challenge support the channel. Um, so what did the ancient Romans call basketball? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, this was, I mean, this most son, I mean, a lot of sons would say Romans were sons. So Yeah, of course. There was that's, no that's distinction. Though. That's that's Britain bullshit. Britain is doing that. They're, they're bending over backwards for some people because they're trying to say that because um, the Romans um, conquered Britain before the Anglos got there, when the um, Dru- Druids were there and um, and the Celtics were there. That's back when um, Rome conquered that. And they're trying to say that uh, because they had um, a mixed army and they would have had some um, – Carthaginians and this, that, third in their army that they they most likely had some black. Um, <laughs> yo, that shit is that that story of how they claiming that black people were in Britain back in the day is an insane web of meandering lies, man. In DNA, on average, possibly as high as three or four percent in Jamaica and the Virgin Islands, five percent in the Bahamas. And between six to eight percent in St. Kitts, St. Vincent, Grenada, and St. Lucia, and possibly even higher than this in the Afro Trinidadian population. Compare this to Black Americans in the United States, who on average have only one percent Native American blood, or the average white American. But the average mm. will tell you if you talk to most niggas even before the internet. So before this is before the internet, the majority of niggas said they had Indian blood. That yep. was the thing, man. Back in the day, like back in the like back in um the eighties, man, five out of ten niggas said they had Indian blood, and um, it was just a thing. And it, don't let them have like a, a, a looser grain of hair. Oh, oh man. yeah. Oh my god. And 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 that and that. So you don't think there was no mixture going on there, dude? The, it, it's right here, man. You have the I'm, DNA. I'm asking. You don't have yeah, to ask. It's right there, bro. Listen, I'm asking. And then also, <laughs> let me tell you this too. Um, I, um, we do know that natives owned slaves, and we do know that they owned slaves into the 1920s because they didn't follow. They were independent nations, and they didn't follow the um, Emancipation Proclamation. But here's the thing: when they rele- when when one thing that the Na- an American, I mean the Native Americans in North America. Who, who owned slaves, they detested black people more than whites did. And they were far more brutal to their slaves than whites were. And they yeah. didn't um, do intermixing like that. Like their intermixing, they they thought they thought blacks were a subspecies more so than whites did at the time. So they didn't like to intermix with their black slaves. So you right. have less, um, go ahead, man. You, you see that today, like that's prevalent in the modern day. You go to like China, yeah, yeah, they really look down on them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But what I'm yeah. saying is that is that yes, they did have slaves. They were in close proximity with black people. What I'm saying is that the Native Americans, it ain't like they they had niggas as slaves, but they didn't reproduce with them. And as we saw earlier in the video, today's video, whites did fuck their black slaves. Natives didn't. So that's why you see that. Because they did have slaves. So you would think that it would be like the European. 24% of the blood would be European. But it's not because they detested blacks and they despised them. And they felt that they were inferior. So they didn't even think they were procreating them with them was not a thing that they did. Um, Damn, Latinos got Latinos got a lot of um native blood uh Europeans have less damn look how little native and, and when I whenever I see a um fucking Indian a Native American it looks like a glider uh, it's a lot of five dollar Indians here man it's a lot of gliders cosplaying as Indians 
I agree. Yeah, I've got one at sure. work, and oh, she yeah. fucking pisses me off to no end. Well, she 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 claims native. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she claims Native yeah, American, and she wears like Native heritage T-shirts and shit, and she's fucking whiter than I am. Yeah, yeah. I got family members who do that. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is this is um. This is uh. But mo- most Latinos are sixty five percent white. So. Uh, that's crazy. So, so like they have a, a lot of that would that would make sense though because they be smoking our boots, man. Whenever we come into contact with Latinos or we're in the same place with Latinos, they always outdo us, man. Um, who on average have only one percent Native American blood, or the average white American who has even less than that. And it would appear that the United States and I suppose Haiti as well are some of the sole anomalies of the Americas. That being some of the only places in the hemisphere where Native American ancestry is not as widespread. As even in most parts of the Caribbean, their Native American genetics and heritage still lives on in the present day. In Puerto Rico, there has been a bit of a Taino cultural revival, with many embracing their indigenous roots. And in the 2010 U.S. Census, around 10,000 Puerto Ricans identified as Native American, being an interesting example of an ethnic group being revived literally from extinction. Although many members of this neo-Taino community have argued that there is simply a continuation of the former Taino people and culture, although it's unknown if these self-identified Taino have any more Native American DNA on average, or whether they just have the right amount of European and African DNA to look vaguely Native. But either way, their embracing of their Amerindian heritage is part of a wider movement in Latin America to identify with the whole of their ancestry, uniting the region in their uniquely shared history, with the Taino, Caribs, and other Arawakan people native to the Caribbean being one of the most important chapters in that history. So please let me know your thoughts on the natives of the Caribbean. Shout out to Masa, man, man. Um, yeah, it's I just like funny that. to me that people do this with this whole, like, we was natives thing and trying to identify with these people. While at the same time living in the convenience of modern glider-esque societies, 